Hello and welcome into the 3D! Today you will learn how you can invert the gravity in GDevelop. Now let's look at what do we need for this project. First we need a sprite object which I renamed as a player and place into my scene. The second object is a tile sprite which I place on the top and the bottom of my scene to avoid the player go outside of the screen. Once we create these elements, if you click on preview, you will see that currently there is nothing happening in our scene. To be able to make the player get affected by the gravity, double click the player, go under behaviors and click on add a behavior. In this new panel, select the physics engine behavior. Do not change anything, but have a look at the gravity scale value. This is the one we need to access, but we don't need to change it from here. Now, if you click on preview, you will see that the player is getting affected by the gravity, but the problem is, it is not colliding with the platforms. So, to be able to make the platforms collide with the player, double click on the platform, go under behaviors, click on add behavior, and the behavior that we need is the physics engine again. But this time, make sure to change the type from dynamic to static. Once you've done that, press apply and click on preview. If you haven't done any mistake, now the player should be colliding with the platforms and it means we have finished our scene setup and that means we can start making the game mechanics. Let's go to the events tab and click on add an event. Click on the condition, select the player, select the gravity scale and if the gravity scale is equal to 1, by default we know it is set to 1. Right click and add a sub event, add a condition, search for key pressed or key released and the key that I will assign will be the E key, but you can assign any key that you like. Add another condition under this, and the condition we will add is triggered once while true. This is really important because we don't want to trigger it multiple times. So let me explain what is going on. First, we check if the gravity scale is set to 1. And if we are pressing the E key, trigger it once, and then if we add an action condition, select the player, select the gravity scale, and set it to minus one. If you click on preview, and if you press the key that you assign, you will see that you are able to change the gravity, but you can do it only once. So let's fix it. Right click and copy the event that we have created. Then right click again and paste it. Now we know that once we press the key, the gravity scale value will change to minus one. So if the gravity scale is set to minus one and if the E key is pressed, trigger it once and change it to 1. It is simple, right? But there is a problem. Click on preview and try it, but you will see that it will not work if we leave it like this. Since we are checking the value of the gravity scale, and by pressing the key, we are changing this value, so it means there is an infinite loop and it will break the game mechanics. The solution is simple. Click on add an action, search for, wait x seconds, and set the value to 0.2. Make sure to put this action above the gravity scale, and then copy and paste it above the other gravity scale action. Preview this and test the game mechanics. You will see that now we are able to change the gravity scale. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, please comment down below 
and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more content. Once again, thanks for watching, I see you guys next time.